Hooray! <laughs> Fantasy! I'm so happy! I'm oh. so happy! Maybe it's because today we are talking about the happiest place on Earth. That's right. Yeah. And it is... Um, Disneyland. Oh, right, Disneyland. No. And California Adventure. <laughs> but yes. No. Disneyland, the Disneyland Resort. Yes. It actually is the hap one of the happiest places on Earth for me, for sure. Yes. So I'm Jessica from Drawing Conclusions. And I'm Josh. And normally we review movies. Maybe we throw a video game or a TV series in there every once in a while. But today we're doing something a little different. We wanted to talk about Disneyland. Yes. Because a year ago at this time, we were getting ready to go on our anniversary trip to Disneyland. And we're feeling kind of nostalgic about yes. that trip a year ago. It was later. like one of the greatest things ever because we went without the kids. <laughs> Man, that was fun. Anyway. <laughs> it really was a wonderful, magical vacation. It really was. It was a great time. <laughs> and, it, and Disneyland truly is a very a place that's very near and dear to my heart like a really important right place for me as a human being which i know some people don't understand but hopefully you out there in anti tayland understand what i mean <laughs> when yes. i talk about how much disneyland means to me why don't you so. tell us <laughs> <laughs> all right well first before we get started i want to thank anti tay so much for letting us be on her channel again this month yes we love doing these videos for for her and we hope that you enjoyed them too and before we get too far into this i want to let you know that we are running a sale from now through the end of the year through december 31st that is exclusive for people who find us on youtube so if you're watching this video or if you're watching a video over at our channel you will see a discount code that you can use at joshbarkerart.com to buy any of the merchandise there, we have originals for sale and prints, poster size, digital prints. So check that out. You'll get a 20% discount between now and the end of the year. So great holiday gifts, especially if you have movie fans in your life or Disney fans in your life. There's lots of great um, merchandise over there. And artwork is kind of a unique, um, one-of-a-kind gift that, you know, yeah. a lot of people, it's different, something different. You right. know, it's not your normal... Stuff you find at the store. Sweater or whatever yeah. that you might get for Christmas. Oh so boy, another pack check of socks. <laughs> and if you join Patreon, um, we actually are running an even better sale for our patrons where they'll get 25% off between now and the end of the year. Yeah. So and then you get a continued discount throughout the whole the whole year, all year round, if you're one of our patrons. So yeah. so check us out on Patreon too. Okay, so let me talk to you about why I love Disneyland so much. So Josh and I have very different Disneyland backgrounds and histories, yes. right? So I was born in Southern California, born and lived there until I was eight years old. And my dad um, was raised in Southern California. Right. And he went to Disneyland in its like very early, early, early years. I have a picture of my dad at Disneyland, I think from 1960. You know, he was a, um, a young teenager. <laughs> and um, anyway, but... Uh, he loved Disneyland, and he shared his love of Disneyland with his kids. My dad was a big, I mean, he's a responsible, mature, wonderful man, but he was a gigantic goofball, and he was a kid <laughs> at heart. And all of that came out at Disneyland, and it was so fun to go to Disneyland with him. Yeah. And we went a lot when I was a young kid. Like, we went at least once a year, and sometimes we did multiple trips. And I had really special experiences where I got to go on field trips with my dad um, to Disneyland. He was a school administrator when I was a little kid. And so he would go on these Disneyland field trips and he would take me and stuff. And it was really fun. So I have like this really warm, tender spot in my heart for Disneyland that started when I was a little girl. Um, just all these wonderful memories of my family at Disneyland. And for me, so much of why I love Disneyland is because every time I go back there, this, those memories and those feelings come rushing back. And um, my dad passed away 18 years ago, and so um, it's also a place where I feel really close to him and where I can remember him and um, kind of feel the the spirit of who he was when I when yeah, I go there. Remember the good times. Yeah, and so it's a really it really is a very special and wonderful place for me. And then Josh, yeah. when did you first go to Disneyland? Uh, I first went, I was a freshman in high school. Yeah. And so that was a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I went with my brothers and mom and dad and some grandparents. And it was, I had a blast. I yeah. Mean, 
we actually went around this time of year and the park was virtually empty and so we walked on just about everything yeah and it's like splash mountain had just opened um star tours was relatively still new yeah and rode that like two or three times and it was so fun i still have fond memories of that trip um but then when did you go the next time the next time i was with you after That's we got right. married and that was a great time too <laughs> and we've gone a few times since yeah several times since and it's just fun i love the place i i just each of the different lands are so cool they're so neat unique and yeah. they just do such an effective job of like transporting you to like another time, another place. Right. It's just, it's great. Yeah, I mean, I love amusement parks in general, but Disneyland stands out, all the Disney parks, because I've been to Disney World too. Yeah. And if they just stand out because of the theming, the attention to detail throughout. Oh, the, the details. The story staggering. building, right? And all of their rides and in all of the lands and, and feeling like you are kind of like not even in the same place that you were before you walked through the gates you know what right. I'm saying? like yeah like you feel like where did i just walk into i mean one of the greatest things for me about going to disneyland is just walking into the park and going on to main street you know oh this uh, all the places throughout the park are just so vastly different yeah no places no two places really look the same and they're treated differently the the cast that work there you know they're in their roles and they just Right. really sell it and it's it's great yeah and it's so clean yeah it's very clean it's very really important <laughs> well i mean it's very important to walt disney because he visited Other you parks. know parks with his daughters when he was um before he built his land that was one of the things he really hated was how dirty it was and oh yeah you know and so he was like they are very vigilant as you know about keeping that park clean there's like you drop a piece of garbage and it seems like there's immediately yeah, there's right. immediately someone there to pick it up. It's like you some know? hand <laughs> reaches up underneath one of the tiles and pulls it in. <laughs> it disappeared. No. What? No. It, it's not quite that crazy, but <laughs> it's so clean. It, it's just so accommodating on so many levels. Yeah. It, it's really great. Um, so aside from all the fun nostalgia, what are some of the things that you like about the Disney uh, parks, Disneyland and like California Adventure in particular? Well, I mean, I love Disney movies and I love, yeah. I, and you know, some people are irritated about the changes at Disneyland. They don't like the introduction of the Star Wars and the Marvel characters, but those are movies that I love too. We love, oh, yeah. we're huge Star Wars fans. We love Marvel movies yeah. and, and like the Muppets are there and I love the Muppets. And yeah. so all of these franchises that they have folded in and, and of course acquired, with yeah. the addition of Pixar and all the Pixar stuff, we love all the Pixar stuff. And so for me, it's, it's, it's all good. All of that stuff. You know, we're, <laughs> we're obviously, I mean, we have a YouTube channel where we review, review movies. We're gigantic movie fans, right? Like yeah. we love the movies. And so. Um, I just like that part of it. I love rides. I love amusement parks. I love going on amusement park rides. I love the thrills of it. I, I love being silly on Snow White. I, you know, I love the, the sweet innocence and and mild thrill. You know, of Peter <laughs> of Peter Pan. You know, and I love Peter Pan. Um, I love the crazy wackiness of the Alice in Wonderland ride. And yeah, I love the sentimentality of it's a small world and. I mean, I just love that, uh, that I feel all these different range of emotions when I'm there, that it, um, <laughs> that, <laughs> what I do, right? Yeah. Like, I, I, there are so many different kinds of experiences to have sure. at Disneyland. I love the music that they play. I love that they even worry about things like what the park smells like when you're in certain areas. Right. <laughs> you know? And, oh, yeah. Or even times of year. Right. You know, yeah. like if you're there for Christmas, you smell some gingerbread and other kinds of things. Right, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I just... I mean, I love all of that. I love the spectacle. I love the light shows. I love the fireworks. I love running into random characters like you, that you don't know. You might turn a car turn a corner, and all of a sudden you're like, "Oh, there's Honest John from Pinocchio." You know, I yeah. love the surprise factor that happens at at right. Disneyland. There and, still is that surprise factor, even though we've been there several times. Yeah. Well, every time I go, yeah. I see a character that I've never seen before, or you know, I have some kind of experience that's new because they're always. I like that they try to change things and make things different and and special, you know, which time you go. And of course, the rides. I mean, I just love yeah the rides. I love the different kinds of rides that they have. There. What are what are some of the rides you like? Why don't you tell me some of the rides you like? I've been talking a lot. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, we'll kind of go based off the picture. Although there are other ones not pictured that I just wasn't wasn't able to fit in. Uh, Grizzly River Run. I remember when we first rode that. That was super fun. Yeah. And I got soaked. It was awesome. 
<laughs> and we rode that like I a, don't bunch know, a bunch of times yeah. during that trip. It was it was a great time. I'd never been to California Adventure before. That park was new to me, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, a newer attraction, Cars Land, that I got to experience this last time we went. Yeah. And the Radiator Springs Racers. Um, I like that just because the detail, again. Yeah. Amazing detail. Well, and that's like amazing. Cars Land is the epitome of feeling like you walked into a different place because oh, it's for like sure. literally like you walk into Radiator, Radiator Springs. Springs. <laughs> like you just walked into the movie. Yes. You're like, oh, hello. Because everything is recreated in oh, perfect detail. Right down to the perfect neon signs, You're the right. street, the, right. uh, the blinking light. You and know? <laughs> I love the you know the neon lights when they come on yes. in the evening and how they play the, the song. Sh the Shaboop song, you yeah. know, whatever. Yeah. Um, I like Cars Land. Um, I will also go along with like Peter Pan. But also in that area, Peter Pan ride and Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Yeah. That's like one of my favorite cartoons as a kid. I still watch it. I still love it. And yeah. It, and <laughs> one of my favorite memories from any of my Disneyland trips was this last year when you and I went together <laughs> and you, like, in a perfect Mr. Toad impression, quoted that movie on the Mr. Toad's ride. Yes. And it was just the best. I'm like... Probably not very many of the people coming to Disneyland, like not a high percentage, can quote, Mr. right, Toad. The Wind in the Willows and <laughs> yes. like know the lines perfectly from Mr. Toad and do it in a perfect Mr. Toad's accent. And it was kind of attractive when you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Um, then uh, the Indiana Jones ride. Yes. I love that ride. That's a great one. That whole area is just so great. I just, uh, it was Adventureland. Adventureland, yeah. Yeah, that one's awesome. Uh, Big Thunder Railroad, I rode that one as a kid, and that was one of my favorite ones. Like, as a kid, we rode that, like, five times. Yeah, it's it's a great roller coaster. It's a really I great mean, roller coaster. I mean, it's really coaster. great, yeah. Uh, Splash Mountain, I like that one. I, I love those characters as a kid, you know, Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, yeah. uh, Br'er Bear, and I, I thought those were really cool stories. Um, and the music in it is great, and the ride itself, and again, the detail inside the ride. And well, that ride is, is like so cool. A sh like how Disneyland like takes a basic concept and like amps it up because right. log rides have been around since forever, right? Oh yeah, many but a they, park has a log ride. Right, but most log rides at most parks, it's like you go up a hill, you turn a corner, you and come you down, down a hill, and, and you're, you're done, done, right? You like you turn the corner, this and there's got no a whole story and there's going no on. theming to it beyond like oh, and you're like at a lumber Yard. mill or whatever, yeah. right? <laughs> And this is like, no, it's of course, it's this whole big Disney, Disney Production, story. Yeah. There are several hills throughout. You know, they've got yeah. the double indoor hill when you're in the dark and all this. I mean, you know, it's... It's awesome. It's, it's a great so, ride. It's like, so far superior to any log ride in the world. Oh, absolutely. It, yeah. It's hands down better than any other log ride. Right. Uh, next, uh, Star Tours. Uh, still one of my all-time favorites. It's just, I love Star Wars. I've always loved Star Wars. I mean, from the time of my childhood. Yeah. And it's such a great ride. Yeah, but what's your tippity top favorite ride? My tippity top favorite ride? Guardians of the Galaxy yes. Mission Breakout is yes. my favorite ride by far. We <laughs> rode that ride four times. Each time was great. <laughs> Each time better than the last. <laughs> Each time better than the last. That's right. The music... The uh, walkthrough line going through the collector's collection, yeah. Tamalir Tavon, and then the little story that you get to watch on the ride itself. Uh, I like this and ride. The way they change the ride mechanics too. I oh like right, it's I like it so much better than Tower of Terror. And I, look, look, I love Tower of Terror. Yeah. And I was so upset when I found out that they were changing it to Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy, even right. though I really like those movies. Right. But I was like. What? Because it was, Tower of Terror was one of my absolute favorite rides right. at Disneyland. And I was so mad. But then we went on a Guardians of the Galaxy and I was like, Psh, forget it. I don't, like, it should stay like this forever. This yeah. is so good. It's so much better than Tower of Terror. It's so fun. It's yeah. such a fun ride. I was laughing, like, hysterically yeah. the whole time. It was it was great. Yeah, it was Great awesome. ride. Um, and there, again, there are probably other things out there that I'm forgetting off the top of my head. Other rides that I really enjoyed, but... Those ones I just named and the ones I put in the picture, and even a handful I wasn't able to include, but those are the things I really love about the parks. Yeah. California Adventure and And the food, Disneyland. of course. Oh, the corn dogs. <laughs> the corn dogs, the corn dogs, the corn dogs. So good. And the pommes frites at Cafe Orleans. And, well, there's it's like and the Mickey beignets the, and mint yeah, juleps. Yeah, and, the, the, yeah. The food at the park in general is really good. Yeah. Disneyland's just great.
it is really a great place to go. It's it's fun for everyone, you know, just yeah. if you're just able to get away with your uh, spouse, it's a good time. You take the family, it's a good time. Right. I mean, you're just going to have a good time. Yeah, and unfortunately, our kids haven't been In for several years, seven years. Yep. <laughs> and our youngest was a baby yep. the last time that we went. And so we are really hoping that sometime soon we can take the entire clan to Disneyland because our kids... Um, are love Disneyland even though most of them can't remember ever having been, been there. there but like we're I'm such a fanatic it's not Josh it's me I'm such a fanatic about Disneyland that I like have the kids watch the ride videos on YouTube right. and <laughs> stuff like that so they get really excited about it. they're like when we go to Disneyland I'm gonna ride that I want to ride that first yep. or you know well, you someday know. that will happen yeah anyway so anything else you want to say no, I just, I heart Disneyland. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and, you know, next time I go to Disneyland too, um, Auntie Tay has some really great, like, shirt designs and things yes. like that for Disney parks. Yeah, and I ears just, and all I that have stuff. my eye on one of them already, that, that resting witch face that she did. Oh, yes. During um, October this year. So if you are looking for a great, unique Disneyland um, t shirt or. You're looking for some great like um, Disney bound in ideas and stuff. You should check that out on Auntie Tay's channel. I really, yes. um, I, for real, like seriously, I'm like I am going to make that shirt before I go to Disneyland next time. So okay. anyway, all right. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope that this has sparked some memories for you about the times that you've been to Disneyland. And we would love to hear from you in the comments. What are your favorite things about Disneyland? Um, how you feel about some of the changes that have been happening in the park and the changes that are coming. Um, so drop us a, a comment. Thank you. Thanks.